So let's go back a bit. Uh, the, if you remember, the, the very first record we issued was Love Me Do. Second record we issued was Please Please Me, which was only arrived at after much, uh, you know, much doubt on my part whether they could ever write a, a hit song. From that moment onwards, they blossomed. They, they became wonderful songwriters. But before they showed evidence of that, I still had to have an album out. And so what I did was, I mean, I'd, I'd been up to the cavern and I'd seen what they could do. I knew their repertoire, I knew what they were able to perform. And I said, let's record every song you got. Come down to the studios and we just whistle through them in a day. So how could I dance with another? But we knew those songs, you see, because we did, that was the act we did all over the country. I've been told when a boy kiss a girl, take a trip around the world, hey, hey. Ask me why, I'll say I love you, and I'm always thinking of you. Please, please, we won't get yeah, like I please you. It's you, sha la 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 la. Baby, it's you, sha la 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 la. Basically, this album was just what we did on live, you know, mm. in in the clubs. So um, I think we just kept running through songs. What about this? What about this? How does that go? And we play a bit, and then he said, "Well, what else have we got?" Listen, do you want to know a secret? A taste of honey Tasting much sweeter Than wine There is a place Where I can go And 10.30 that evening, John finally, about 10 o'clock, he sang Twist and Shout. It's because his voice was going all day and he knew he couldn't, he could only give it sort of one or two goes and it'd just rip it which it did, and you can hear it on the record, but it was a pretty cool performance. I couldn't sing the damn thing, I was just screaming.